Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a clicker surprise fold from the new show, The Last of Us. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our clicker surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. So I'm gonna fold my paper in half, like I'm making a birthday card. Then I'm gonna give it another fold just like this. Now, after I have it folded, I can open it up and I have these nice little guidelines in here that show me where to keep the inside of my drawing. And I always like to turn my paper this way so I can open it up and reveal my surprise fold. Now, to start off with this, I'm going to begin right about here and I'm going to bring a little line that's going to come up like this. And then a little line that's going to come up like that. This is going to be a very kind of like bumpy and jagged drawing. I'm not going to have many smooth lines in here. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to make a line that's going to go out and it's going to be kind of bumpy and it's going to come across right here and then down. Right here I'm going to make a little line that's going to come up, it's going to be kind of bumpy and jagged and then come down here. I'm going to start a line up here, make it kind of bumpy, I'm going to come down and then in like this. And then I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna come in here. I'll start here and make a line that's gonna come up and down here. And then we'll start right here, kinda of do the same thing, just kinda of bring it over and down. And I'll make another one right over here. And then right here, I'll make a line that's gonna come down to here. Now, starting here, I'm going to bring this line in like this, and I'm gonna bring this line kinda of down and in. See, it's still kinda of bumpy. I'm gonna curve it in here, and curve it in here. And then I'm going to bring this line down and up and then kind of over and up here for where the chin would be. Then right here I'm going to draw a little line that's going to kind of go down, over, and up. I'm going to make a little line down. It's going to come to a point and back up for like the neck. Put a little bump or two right there. I'm going to make a little line that's going to come down like this. Then I'm going to make a little line that's going to come out, kind of jagged here. And we're going to go out and make it kind of jagged here. That'll make it kind of bumpy here and kind of bumpy over here as we come down. Now, I'm gonna make some kind of broken little lines right across some of these different little parts on here. And I'll make some more on here. And I'm just kind of making these little bumpy lines all the way across here. This is just gonna make it look a kind of a little more realistic and give it some texture. Then I'm gonna add some little broken lines coming down here and even some little lines kind of coming up here to kind of make it look like it's got that kind of like fungus look to it. I'll make some little lines around there. Put another little line or two there. And a couple little lines right around here. I'll make a few little lines coming right above the fold, not touching the fold. I'll make a few little lines just right around here too. And even some more on the neck. I'll even put a couple little bumps on here too. Now I'm going to add just like a little bump over here. And I'm going to make a little mushroom shape over here. So I'm going to draw two little lines. A little curve line. An oval shape and then like a little bump for a mushroom top. 
I'll do the same thing over here, make that two little lines, a little curved line here, an oval shape, and then a little mushroom top there. Now my next step is to open this up and draw the inside of my clicker. Now, once I open it up, I've got two halves of my clicker. And so I'm gonna start drawing the inside. I wanna begin right here, and I'm gonna bring this line down and then in. And then I'll do the same thing over here, kinda of bring this down and then in. I wanna make a little bumpy line here. And then I'll make a couple more little bumpy lines here and then one over here. I'm gonna bring this line down to here to connect, and I'm gonna bring this line down here to connect. Starting here, I'm gonna make kind of like a bumpy, wavy line right across here. And then another kind of bumpy, wavy line right across here. And we're gonna go over and then bring it back up here. I'll make a couple little bumpy lines here. And then we're gonna make some teeth in here. I'm gonna make some kind of like bumpy, kind of squared, lumpy, kind of jagged teeth all around here. Put a couple there. And then I'll do the same thing here. Just make some kind of those same teeth. You wanna make them different sizes, kind of bumpy and jagged. Now for the tongue, I'm gonna to make kind of like a wavy, curvy, bumpy line. And then I'm gonna make a couple little curved lines here. And we're gonna make the back of the mouth. So I'm gonna draw two curved lines up here. A little curved line here. And then I'm gonna make some little broken lines right across here. I'll make a couple more little lines right over here too. I'm gonna add a couple little broken lines right around some of these little spots here. And we'll just make some little lines coming right around here too. We'll put some extra little lines on here, just lots of little texture and detail lines. And I'm going to make a few little mushrooms coming out. So I'm going to draw kind of like a weird oval shape here with a curved line. I'll make a little oval shape here. And then a big, tall, sad face shape around it. I'll make a sad face with like a curve here. And then I'll make a little stem for the mushroom. Put a couple little lines on here. I'll do another one up here. We'll make kind of like more of like a tall mushroom with a little curve and a little line around it. Some extra little detail lines. And there you go. There is your drawing of a little clicker surprise fold. So when I have it all folded up, I've got my normal clicker face. And then when I open it, I've got all these little, this big mouth, all these little mushrooms flying everywhere. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.